আউজবিল্লাহিমিনশৈতানজিম বিসমিল্লাহিরহমানুরহিম সয়কুলুসফহা ওমিনন্নাসিমাবল্লাহুম আনকে বলাতেহি মুল্লতি কানু আলাইহা কলিল্লাহিল মশরিকো ওয়াল মাগরিব ইয়াহদি মাইয়শা ও ইলা সিরাতিম মুস্তাকিম ডিয়ার ফ্রেন্ডস আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়া রাহমাতুল্লাহি ওয়া বারাকাতুহ আই রিসাইটেড আয়াত নাম্বার 142 সূরাতুল বাকরা দিস আয়াত ইজ রিগার্ডিং দ্য ডাইরেকশন অফ কিবলা when we pray salah so we have to face towards qibla the allah's house in makkah so the direction when, when it was changed so it is mentioned in this and the reaction of the people who were jews hypocrites mushrikeen and the muslims who were new one in that so that is also visible in it and allah said this was actually a a, a, a test a trial for the muslims allah wants to see how they are obedient to him so allah said in this ayat sayaku lu sayakulu they will say soon lusufahu lusufaha mean asufaha the fool the people who have no good mind so allah said the foolish people the fool people sayakulu they will say minan nasi from the people it means from the all from all of the people who are foolish their mind is no good who are just to make a joke or just to disturb the situation within the society like those type of people allah said the foolish people among the other peoples they will say it mean when the direction of the qibla will be changed they will blow up and they will uh, start hue and cry among the other peoples and they will disturb the situation and make the environment uh, not good for the people who are coming to islam the new ones and this is sayakulu safhao so the people who are the foolish they will say minan nasi from the people ma wallahum ma what wallahum turned them what turned them on from qibla to him the, the their the direction of prayer qibla the direction of prayer what turned them from their direction of prayer so qibla to him direction of the prayer allati which kanu they were used to alaiha on that <clears throat> so sayakulu sufaha min annas ma wallahum an qiblatihi mullati kanu alaiha so the, among the other people the foolish people they will say soon what turned them away from their direction of the prayer which were they used to so it mean here they said because the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he came to madina from makka up to about 16 or 17th month 17 months he he prayed towards Baitul Muqaddas Masjid Al-Aqsa So mostly what was the situation at that time the Jews and they were also mostly say to the Muslims 
what type of religion you have you have no your own qibla and you are using our qibla so when you are using our qibla for your prayers for your salah so you must turn to us because our religion is true and uh, so this way because you are you have no any qibla so you are using our qibla our religion is also true you come to our religion they were trying to cheat muslims who were the new one and they were saying this this way the holy prophet sallallahu he was in love with uh, in love with the khana kaaba the baitullah in mecca he was expecting that allah will turn uh, him and with him the all other muslims towards mac towards allah's house which is in mecca so sometimes the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was just to look to the sky and sometimes he was to request allah in dua that oh allah make the uh, baitullah our our qibla so this was the uh, internal uh, inspiration of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so <clears throat> this way so allah said when the qibla will be changed those people who are foolish they will also they blow up the society they blow up the other people also and they will make a hue and cry and make the situation different and make uh, this is actually when the qibla was changed actually allah was to look at the people who are muslims to check their uh, iman how they are strong in their iman this was the trial for the muslims so the muslims who are to stay in islam so they were the excellent allah said yahdi 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 mean guides allah guides mayasha to whom he wills ila sirat e mustaqim to sirat e mustaqim to the right path <clears throat> so it mean the people who will be successful they will get the right path and that is right path the guidance is exactly completely under the hands of allah under the controls of allah so you can see the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam about 16 17th month when he migrated from makkah to madina so he was to pray towards baitul muqaddas masjid al aqsa then one day it was about uh, 15th of shaban so when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was praying salatul zuhur in masjid salma in madina so jibril alaihi salam he came and with the command of allah to turn towards makkah the baitullah allah's house that is your new qibla and the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam followed allah's command quickly and he turned his face towards makkah when he was he completed two rakat after two rakat in the third rakat holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he turned towards makka so the qibla have been changed so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam how he was uh, obedient to allah so when he found the commands he was just to turn quickly towards the uh, allah's house in makka alhamdulillah oh, we request allah that allah will make our life uh, Uh, under the guidance of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to obey obey like that way the, when we find any command of allah we must uh, turn to obey the command quickly like the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he got the message from the jibril alaihi salam that you have to turn your face towards makkah that is your qibla baitullah allah's house so he turned quickly towards the uh, allah's house so qibla have been changed so <clears throat> and uh, you know the makkah where is the makkah the earth our earth this land whole it was also started from there 
because that was the first place from where the earth spread out through so the that was the center of the earth so center of the earth throughout the world if you find that is the place where is Baitullah Allah's house in Mecca so that is the center of the earth and the whole earth because it was water everywhere so there was no earth at all so when Allah started to make the earth so that time the earth was started to spread out in the universe for starting from the point that where is the Makkah Allah's house so that is the place so from where the earth spread out throughout so this is the the best place which is the Allah's house and uh, and this is uh, so much blessed that Allah's mercies falls on it every time so <clears throat> Holy Prophet was when he got the command to turn towards the Allah's house in Mecca so he turned towards it completely quickly some people when uh, uh, you can see they also from the non-muslims uh, they say like especially the hindus and other people who worship the idols or statues or something made made up of stones they also say to the muslims that muslims also worship or have sajda to the stones also because the holy kaaba allah's house that is also made up of stones so when the muslims they are bowed down they are going into the sajda prostration before that so it means they are going into sajda before the building that is made up of stones but that is uh, we believe that is the only direction because allah said when you have to pray you have to pray to make your direction towards baitullah Baitullah is not our Allah but that is the direction Allah said when your direction will be to that way it means your sajda will go to me so like we can find the solution of this one in Surah al Quraysh, where Allah said Fal yabudu rabba hazal bayt Fal yabudu and worship Allah who is worship Allah who is the rabbu hazal bayt who is the rabb of this house Allah's house so it means when we are just to bow down before that house it means the worship is to Allah not to that house not to the buildings we are not to worship the building we are not to bow down to do sajda to the building but we are to have a sajda to Allah if a person who is just thinking that that person is doing a sajda towards that building so he is not Muslim his Iman will finish so this way we have to believe that this is the direction the holy kaaba is the direction because allah said you have to face towards kaaba when you are just to pray so salah so that is you facing to kaaba that is your qibla so qibla is is the is the sign of unity among the muslims because throughout the world all the muslims they are turned towards the qibla they are though this is like a unity and allah is one allah like oneness so this type of oneness and that is a reflection when the muslims they are bow down they are going into sajda in raku and sajda towards that house the one place so that allah has fixed so alhamdulillah that is giving us two beautiful scenes one is like the beauty of oneness that is liked by allah the other is beauty of the brotherhood and the unity that allah wants to see in us so we must be united one and that is the allah wants in us alhamdulillah so these are the so much nice qualities which allah wants to see in us that we are common with each other so our allah is one uh, puri prophet sallallahu is one our quran the book is one our religion is one so we must be one also so this way the brotherhood that makes us one <clears throat> so we have to look after everyone 
so we get so many beautiful lessons from it and also the qibla qibla mean also the qibla like a, a every person like our lifestyle that is also when a person is just to just to come into islam or a muslim who is who is away from islam but uh, is just only by name muslim but that person when comes practically towards islam and follow islam completely and fully then alhamdulillah and that person becomes uh, uh, the lifestyle of that person changed completely so then he gets uh, mercies of Allah but the people they the people who are foolish people they also joke that person also this way sayakul sufahaw minan nasi from the people who are fool they also make joke when a person who change his lifestyle towards islam so that qibla of that person is changes mean the lifestyle of that person changes towards allah so that is becomes a symbol of a joke among the other people who are foolish so but the people who are nice people noble people pious people so they respect that person and they they also thank allah so allah uh, allah give allah gave that person uh, uh, guidance la yahdi may yashao so yahdi is a uh, guides allah guides may yashao he wills ila sirat mustaqim so towards the straight path so the straight way is just if a person who is coming to the straight way and then that person if if it is if the person is joked by some people and must uh, must be away from them not to say uh, reply not to reply them but just to have a patience towards allah and be uh, humble and be nice and his uh, uh, deeds and uh, towards Allah uh, so alhamdulillah that person will get uh, the full guidance from Allah and will have the track that is the right track sirat mustaqim so this is the position like we got <clears throat> from here that uh, the qibla is the direction because the holy holy kaaba and the baitullah in mecca that is a direction we have we pray towards that because that uh, that was the command of allah so the holy prophet وسلم, he has done it practically and we are just to follow the holy prophet وسلم, because holy prophet وسلم, he was just to do everything with the command of allah and he is the person who gave us the practical shape of all commands of allah so alhamdulillah when we are just to follow quran and sunnah so we are the people to follow islam completely and this qibla is the best for us because it makes us to pray towards one place so to facing towards one one place that is baitullah in makkah so and uh, when the all muslims they are throughout the world they are just to face that way so it means it gives us the sign of brotherhood oneness and unity alhamdulillah that is the best thing also for us and the holy kaaba is at the place which is the center of the earth so this way the muslims when they go to perform hajj and uh, their all types of sins are forgiven and that those people they become innocent because they because they they because all human beings they are made up of earth and clay so when all the human beings they are just to go that place which is the kaaba baitullah allah's house that is the center of the earth earth have been created from the earth earth have been spread up from there so when the muslims they are just to go there and request allah for forgiveness and from that center so whole muslims they become purified they become clear from all type of dots all type of rubbish all types of dirty spots of sins and they become clear and innocent and nice and pure and alhamdulillah when they perform hajj or umrah they come back they are mashallah Allah, uh, innocent nice free from all type of sinful things and that 
person becomes the blessed one and at the right track at the right sirat mustaqim and also with the guidance of allah that is the blessed things of allah to that person and we also we have to request to allah every time that allah keep us in the right upright path throughout our life and also our generation inshallah up to the day of judgment so so this way if a person who is uh, who is in a journey in a train or in a bus is difficult to find the qibla so but no problem there but the person have to pray their salah it is very important because salah is not forgiven is compulsory to pray until a person is alive so we have to pray salah even if we are in a bus or train which is moving and direction is changing every time so that time according to Islamic Sharia we have to pray Salah if the Qibla direction is there is direction is changing every time no problem we have to pray Salah will be valid for us and it will be accepted because Salah is compulsory for us to perform so this way we have to pray five times Salah and we request Allah that Allah will make our life according to the commands and the Quran the commands of Allah and the Quran and Sunnah and the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Sharia we have to follow it completely fully and throughout our life and uh, and make our all deeds and uh, Iman according to Quran and Sunnah Allah give us Tawfiq Ameen